They don't properly teach you how to utilize those. They're just like, here's obstacles that are weird and wonky and do weird things. What have we got? You fail at the teaching level. And plus, because the platforming is a little wonky at times, so it's really hard to really tell, okay, is it me or is it them? But yeah, I wouldn't mind Ridley being in Smash. They just have to come up with an interesting, like, uh, moveset or gimmick or something for him. Because overall, like, they made, like, a bunch of characters that you'd think, like, ah, oh, nah, they wouldn't ever work as a character. Like, Game & Watch and Olimar, as I did it again. Destroy the box. Destroy the box again. Nah, I'd say that the Smash games were made alongside each other because... And the only reason that the Ice Climbers were left out was to keep, like, parity between the uh, two versions. So it wasn't like, oh, here's a super, like, uh, better version of the same game, damn it. So that players didn't feel like they were being skimped out on if they bought the 3DS version. Because, again, the 3DS market is still really large and they want to keep that alive. Can't really blame him for that. Whereas with this one, it would be less of a port and more like, let's use the game that didn't sell that well on uh, this one platform and make it like uh, use it as a like a the bones and make even more new stuff with the bones of this game that didn't get that much attention. Plus, also gives them the chance to reuse characters. Because seriously, I'm getting kind of, like, I can I would prefer that they use, like, the same kind of backbone of uh, Smash 4 just to... I was spinning, goddammit. I would prefer them to use, like, the backbone of uh, 4 to properly... I spend! What the hell, game? Spending equals kill. Nothing else. God damn it. If that's not how it works, teach the player. Else, stop. Does not make a sense to my brain. Like, yeah, they sit, like, but that's not the, it doesn't really feel like, oh, they reflect. It feels like, oh, they send you back, which shouldn't be affected by certain things, like, especially since they kill you anyway. They kill me when I spin into them, whereas, like, the shield dude who re actually reflects you uh, doesn't work like that, and it's just weird. If it didn't feel like they were just wrenching control of Crash from you and making him run away, maybe, but still. It's just weird. Doesn't feel good. Oh, you, they only appear if you hit the box. Okay, makes sense. I mean, I doubt I'm gonna make it anyway, mainly because these don't make sense to me. them to come and go. Damn it. These patterns are messing with my brain. And plus, I'm kind of in that I don't care anymore mode purely because I'm like, even if I do get in to the further part, the game is going to punish me because I'm going to get to that one part where they don't really tell you what to do through level design. Here's a thing that acts weird. Okay, how do I use it to actually get do proper platforming? We're not going to tell you. I 
swear, I swear. I thought I had the pat the like the pattern down, and now my brain's like telling me no. What the hell? It's annoying. One, two. Alright. Jump around again. That's how you're supposed to do it, but oh well. Gratuitous jumping! Which fails there! This part is bothersome. And once again, it's hard to tell. Not today, not for a long time, when I do 100% maybe. Also, this is why I prefer Spyro. There's less bullshit. Because, like, that's the one problem that I consistently have with games is where, like, we're going to have this big extra thing, but we're not actually going to do that extra thing well because it goes against normal gameplay in some ways. What was that clank sound? Screw mm. you! I can go do that. It's so annoying. Yeah, this is probably one of those games where it's just like... What the hell? I heard noises. Noises! They're always fun. But it's probably one of those games where they didn't know what exactly to do in the first game, and in the second game they knew better. No! Mystical Wizard Gom! Dang it! Because like in earlier levels I could be like, okay, yeah, it's probably me failing at the game. At this point now, I'm getting to the point where I'm feeling like it might be the game. Where some jumps are just a little too aggravating. It's just like, no, you cannot say like, ah, oh, get good. Because there's only so many games you can say, get good with. This ain't one of them. It's the same thing I say about Vermintide 2. There's no get good in that level of grind. And also stupid RNG with robots that don't do as you say. And the people just say, ah, play with real people when real people are assholes. Play with real people who will kick you after you give them advice. Yay. Now it's time for the Walls of Pain in Jericho! Nah, grinding is kind of stupid, especially when it's a certain kind of grinding. The grinding in Vermintide 2 is just pure stupid. Oh, what's that? You want to play uh, with uh, real people? Well, uh, you'll better have friends who own the game or else you're going to suffer. Oh, what's that? You want to... Uh, play with random people online? Well, you're gonna suffer that too. Damn it. And then it just feels like a grind because difficulties aren't really skill based as much as they're like, oh hey, you gotta do this thing. You gotta level up your characters to get the perks to make this so that your characters are more capable of going through these difficulties. Which would be fine, but then they lock, like, um, loot behind those difficulties. Like, you can only get a certain level of loot from this level of difficulty. There you stinking go. I thought I tried that before, and the game said, no, you can't do that, but okay. I hate you! I hate you, Mr. Ripperman! Ripperman, no! I hate you! You made the... He was dead! 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 
Yeah, because it's especially bad because uh, there are things that you can get in the levels of Vermintide 2 that get you, quote unquote, better loot! Bluesy Louie! But better loot. But the AI doesn't want to pick him up all the time. Louie, Louie, there! <laughs> Screw these things! They don't explain it! He's just like, yeah, these are things that these characters do, and we're not, they, like, you're not exactly sure what they do. They just make him run. For no reason! <laughs> no! Even after they're dead, uh, it is suffering uh, to me! Hate you! But yeah, there are certain items you can get inside Vermintide 2's levels that get you better loot, called tomes and grimoires, and it's funny. Uh, I feel like they are kind of inverted in their design. Like, you'd expect the tomes, which are things that give no negative side effects to you, to be the harder to find, because, like, oh, hey, these things, they provide no negative, uh, thing of things, like... I hate you! I killed you! I leave! What? Oh, no. There did be that, uh, TNT... Uh, the their TNT provider of internet going exploding. But as I was saying, yeah, I missed 59 boxes because game is mean. And I'm just like, I don't care anymore. I don't care if I missed them. But the quit it. It's just like, oh, your internet came back. We're going to start playing your own thing. I'm like, no, that's for when I want to know. That's for when I go. And like, I want to know. Stop it. Nobody likes you when you do that game. Browser. But yeah. But yeah. I was gonna, as I was saying, Vermintide 2 has tomes and grimoires. Grimoires shave your health by 25 and then like 70% if you grab two of them. And it goes throughout the entire team. And those are the hard ones to find, not the tomes, which are like, oh, hey, you just carry them around and you can just, you have to like balance, oh, okay. You have to balance like your health potions and stuff with them. The grimoires are the ones that have the stupid, uh, the stupid tendency to be behind platforming challenges in a game that isn't built for platforming. <laughs> yes. But yeah, I was, I was just saying, it's like, for whatever reason, I've only, for whatever reason, my internet seems to go down faster when I start streaming. But, for whatever reason, the ones that are like, you'd think that the grimoires in Vermintide 2... Boo. In Vermintide 2 would be... Ones that are like, oh, hey, these are easy to get, but they provide health downfalls. So it should be like kind of a... Do you want to risk low health and easier death for better treasure? Which is what the grimoires do naturally. But if they were easier to find and not behind poorly programmed platforming segments, then I feel like they would be overall just, like, more appealing. Like, overall more appealing. Not to mention that Vermintide 2 feels like it doesn't understand some things, because, like, uh, the one thing that I hate is, like, uh, you can only get a certain number of, uh, a certain level of item by playing certain difficulties. Like, the easiest difficulty only lets you get level items up to level 100. Uh, the second difficulty, I think, only to level 200. And then the third difficulty, uh, four, uh, like, uh, 200 up, and then 300 up for the final one. But the difficulty gets, like, stupid hard later on. Like, stupid, stupid hard. And because of that, it kind of becomes a grind. Like, okay, I have to level up my characters to do higher difficulties to get better loot so I can actually have fun and feel like I'm progressing. And it's just like, that's the problem it falls into. It took Left 4 Dead, which is a game I played hundreds of, like, a hundred hours of, just on its own, and turned it into... Ah, Creepage, what are you? And, like, turned it into something that is, like more complicated than it needs to be. And it just bothers me. 
and annoys me. Like, the gameplay is fine, but it just also, like, the special infected are, uh, too similar to, like, normal. Like, well, the special enemies, not special infected, but the special enemies are really similar to n normal enemies in the game! Damn it! 